damn, that was badass. That was badass. But I prefer my Pokemon, like, going through the wall and all that stuff. That would that was freaking awesome. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass, Hannah Straven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. And yes, as you saw on that cut screen, yes, I like to make it a, like a, a loop or no, 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 a cliffhanger and all that stuff. Yes, uh, Zekrom has appeared too, and, and out of nowhere, Reshram just like pops out. Pops out of that white stone and bam, look at that. It's looking at me all angrily and all that stuff too. So here we have and he's like, Zekrom and Reshram. They were once one life, one Pokemon. Complete opposites, yet the same. Zekrom and Reshram are Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. Ah, I see. You really are a hero too. I'll tell you what. Or I'll tell you what the Pokemon is saying to you. I want to battle with you, try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test you to see if you are really pursuing truth. I also, I also am curious to see how powerful you are. Now catch Reshram and make it your ally. Oh wow, okay, so, well, we got three things in one episode right here guys. Literally three things in one episode, and that is capturing Reshram, or, you know, legendary Pokemon, beating that little snot-nosed kid, and then, uh, you know, something's going on with that Getsus guy. I think he's on, like, the, the cocaine or something. So, what we're gonna do right here is, uh, well, we're gonna be switching up to Gigalith right here, because I did teach it Thunder Wave just for this occasion. Now, the other thing, too, is I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna save my game, because, uh, let's just say if I were to, uh, make this Pokemon faint, I'm gonna be cussing up a storm. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Okay. So, flexing my muscles, stretching, stretching, stretching. All right, you majestic dragon type looking Pokemon, bring it. Bria! Oh damn! And here it is, guys. Legendary battle number four, and it's Reshiram right here. Now, if you're playing Pokemon White, you will be uh, taking on Zekrom instead of Reshiram. So here we go, level 50. And believe it or not, these Pokemon are way too easily or way too easy to actually capture. Very, very easy. Uh, as you can see, Reshiram is both a Dragon and Fire type Pokemon, and it does have some pretty damn good moves. Your objective here is to capture them. If you make them faint, then that's on you. But if you capture them, bam! That's another Pokemon that you can have on your team. That's freaking awesome. And look at that, paralyzed. That's right. You can't move, you a-hole Pokemon. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the Psychic right here. Do not make it faint, because if you do, I swear to God, I'm releasing you. Look at that. And here comes an extra sensory. Actually, does have that move right there. Okay, alrighty. Let's go again, Psychic. There we go, Psychic. I'm talking from far away, and that nearly makes that guy faint. So, while this guy's attacking me, here we have Reshiram, okay? It is a Fire and Dragon type Pokemon, level 50. I'm reading it off the book. Uh, its ability is Turbo Blaze, as it says right here. First use Ground and Rock type, uh, Rock or Dragon type moves to lower its HP quickly. After that, lower its HP gradually with a Fire and Grass type moves. Even if you accidentally knock it out, as long as your party and your boxes are not full, you can keep challenging it until you catch it. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, never mind. It says the same thing for Zekrom right here. Of course, its moves is Dragon Breath slash Extra Sentry, and its, uh, to, or its signature move, Fusion Flare. Now, Zekrom right here, it is both a Dragon and an Electric type Pokemon, has Terra Volt, it does have Dragon Breath, Slash, Zen Headbutt, and Fusion Bolt, so just be aware of those Pokemon right there, and like it says, you can keep on battling it until you capture it, so I'm gonna, well, use a Psychic Attack. Stay, stay, oh my god, it, it stayed, oh my god, it stayed for me. Alright, time to capture this, uh, this sucker right here, okay. Oh my god, it did not want to faint. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's a good Pokeball for this guy? You know what? Let's go with a Heal Ball right here. Go, Heal Ball. You're going to be healed. You're going to be part of my team. You're going to be kicking ass. One, two, three. Yep. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought I caught it. This guy cannot move. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a better Pokeball. You know, I wanted to be the good one. I wanted to be the good guy, but no, I didn't want to get catchy. captured by a, a heal ball. So I'm going to go with an ultra ball right here. Alrighty. Stay in the goddamn ball. 
Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay fucking shit! Okay. Alrighty, so here comes its dragon breath. It might paralyze me with its stinky attack, and uh, oh my god, there we go. Fainted. Okay, so let's go ahead and use another Pokemon right here. Somebody that will be, will be able to withstand its attack. So let's go with Drillmonger right here. Alrighty, okay, okay. Let's go again. Let's try and capture this guy with another Ultra Ball right here. Let's go. Come on. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. God dang it, stay in the goddamn ball. Oh god. One, two, three. Yeah, buddy! Throwing out that peace sign. I am the hero. That's right, Reshiram. You know who the hero is. Okay. So as you can see, Reshiram, the best white Pokemon, dragon, and fire type Pokemon. It is 10 feet, 6 inches. 727 light pounds of uh, pure muscle. This Pokemon appears in Legends. It sends flames th into the air from its tail, burning up everything around it. Oh wow, that's a pretty, that's a pretty gnarly Pokemon right there. Actually, no, I'm not gonna nickname it the legendary Pokemon. Okay, so after that, add Reshiram to your team. Yes, I will. I kind of want to use him. So who is the odd man out? Well, the odd man out has got to be Gigalith because it's fainted right now. So, yes, I'm going to send him to my uh, to my, uh, my, my, my PC. And he's like, ah, I see. Reshiram, who is said to lend its power to the hero who searches for truth, has recognized your power. And now agrees to stand by your side. Okay, and this guy wants to be super fair. And he's like, hold on, your Pokemon are hurt. There is no triumph to begin uh, battling a weakened opponent. Yeah, this guy, you know, he, he does have morals... Now, I will create the future I desire. I shall sweep you before me. Oh, he's gonna sweep the leg. So here it is, guys. The final battle against N. Our good old buddy N. Alrighty. And, uh, of course, the theme song is not that cool. So here he comes out with Zekrom right here. And the first Pokemon that I come out will be Reshiram. Alright, let's do this. And his Zekrom's at least two levels be uh, ahead of me. All right, Zekrom, maximum effort, and he does have Terra Volt right there. Look at that. Legendary battle all the way. All righty. So as we already know, Dragon types do not like Dragon type moves, and this guy is coming out with his Fusion Bolt attack. Oh, uh, damn. Is it powerful? Not that powerful. So eat this Dragon Breath right here. I'm being more smart than you. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Super effective, and you're paralyzed. Gattaca! He's like, do you really think they can stop us with that? Yes, it can. Here we go. Dragon Breath for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. You thought you could beat me. Look at that. Reshram and me. We're kicking ass, taking names. Look at that. That's right. And of course, he's going to be coming out with a Caracosta. What the hell's a Caracosta? Oh, I know what it is. Okay, let's go. Let's go with Sai of the Torrent. Alrighty, okay. Let's get this Psy. We're gonna do this Psy. Alright, Caracosta. And crap baskets. I I was incorrect. God dang it. You know what? Dragon Tail. <laughs> here comes a Dragon Tail. We're gonna push him out of the way right here. Alrighty, so who's the next Pokemon right here? And, uh, oh crap, okay, so... Not the right Pokemon we wanted to use, so... Let's go right ahead and go with Hotshot right here. Alrighty, okay. Let's go, Hotshot. You can take it. Here comes that Focus Blast right here. Crap on a Crapsicle Stick. And... Does it do it? Can it do it? The defense? Okay, here we go. Flare Blitz for the win. Ah, oh, crap baskets. It's a lot faster than my Pokemon. I completely forgot about that. Come on! Damn you, Hotshot! Okay, so it survived, and here we go, sacrificing itself. Oh, yes, a very physical attack, and it does it. What the hell? That was a Zoroark. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was smart. Okay. I think I know which Pokemon I'm going to use next. Let's go with Shedar. Let's kick some ass right now. With Shatter, and he's coming out with a Vanillux. A Vanillux. A Vanillux, and I picked correctly, so here we go with a high jump kick. And here comes a hail attack. Oh, crap. 
definitely don't want that. So let's go right ahead and go with the high jump kick. There we go. And no more Vanillux. It's got some very interesting Pokemon. And look at that. Shadar grows to level 56. Alrighty. And we're hitting we're getting hit by the 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 the, 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 the hail. So let's continue on right here. Okay, so there's a Kling Clang. Let's go with a high jump kick. But of course, this guy's gonna be faster than us, so he's gonna be using a metal sound. This will actually lower our special defense, so gotta hit him hard, gotta hit him right. Look at that. High jump kick for the win. Suck it. Alrighty, look at that. Look at that, and we get hit by Hail again. He's gonna be coming out with an Archaeops. Alrighty. Time to use Drillmonger. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's get it, Drillmonger. Okay, alrighty. So look at that. Archaeops is looking pretty strong right here. So we're going to be using a Rock Slide for the win. Even though it's still a Rock type Pokemon. And it was super effective, but here comes a Stone Edge attack. Okay, nothing. Hail. Hail. It might get healed up, so let's go again with another Rock Slide. And Ann is using the forward store right here. Okay. Alright, you're healing up your Pokemon. Well, I got the Rock Slide right here. Yeah, buddy. And no more Archeops. Oh, yeah. How about that? How about that? And we're getting hit by, by stuff. And here he comes out with a Caracosta. Let's see, what kind of Pokemon will it get beaten? Ah, oh, crud. Mm, you know what? Let's go with Shedder right here. Kind of feel like Shedder is the man for the job. Let's go right ahead. Alrighty. So, as you can see, Karen Costa, very defensive, and he's like, my last friend, please share your courage with me. See, he doesn't sound all that bad, it's just that, you know, guy's batshit crazy. So, let's go. High jump kick. And here we go. Sounds super effective, and there goes Karen Costa. Suck on that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And we have defeated N. Everything ruined! The ideal is high held! Pokemon with the dreams for Pokemon and all that stuff. Okay! Alrighty, so he's feeling a little uh, broken and all that stuff. Da da dot, da da dot. Zekrom! Zekrom and I were beaten. Your truth, your feelings, they were stronger than mine, and it seems. Oh damn, cutscene right here. It's Reshram and Zekrom. Each of them choosing a different hero. Is that even possible? Two heroes living at the same time? One that pursues truth? And the other one that pursues ideal? Could... could they both be right? I don't know. It's not by rejecting differences or different ideas, but by accepting different ideas that the world creates a chemical reaction. This is truly the formula for the changing of the world. Oh, damn. So he's finally figuring it out that, you know, what he's doing is completely wrong and... Whoa! This guy right here is like... After all that, do you think you're still worthy of sharing the, the name Harmonia with me? What the hell? You good for nothing boy? Oh damn! Holy crap, this guy is pissed off. To start with, I spurred Anne into pursuing, pursuing ideals. The reason we reawakened the legendary Pokemon now was to give my Team Plasma more power. Power to control the, fe uh, the fearful masses that at least, or that at least, was done. Oh damn. This guy's pissed off and he's like, after saying you had to put your beliefs on the line and, to, and battle to see which one, uh, or which one of the chosen by the legendary Pokemon was the true hero, you lost to an ordinary trainer. There is such a, there is such a thing as being too stupid. Add it up and you are nothing more than a warped, defective boy who knows nothing but Pokemon. Wow, that is a... That is an asshole. That is a dick thing to, to say to him. He's just a kid, man. What the hell? Draven, I never would have thought that the legendary Pokemon would choose a trainer like you. It caught me completely off guard. This doesn't change my goal. My plans have not been disturbed. In order to rule this world utterly, in order to manipulate the hearts and of people who know nothing, I will have and be the king of Team Plasma. But for now, or... But, for that to work, you, since you know the truth, you must be eliminated. Oh, damn. 
Oh, damn. And oh, oh, damn. Here comes the cavalry. Akuma and this guy right here. Ruled the world? Wasn't Team Plasma's goal to liberate Pokemon? Oh, damn. That was, the gun that was a convenient lie that I needed to create Team Plasma. Use your head. What's to, what's to be gained from letting go of useful things like Pokemon? Certainly manipulating Pokemon helps people expand their possibilities. That much I can agree with. So it, so it's naturally or so it naturally follows that I only or that that only I should be able to use Pokemon. You fool! That's a ridiculous idea. You can say whatever you want. A Pokemon, even if it's uh, revered as a deity, is still just a Pokemon. Draven. So what if you? Uh, what if it chose you? That doesn't mean it, that doesn't mean you're a threat. Come on! Now you now you'll face me in a battle. I can't wait to see the look on your face when you lost all hope. Okay, bring it on, Draven. Oh damn! The hell? Did you just heal my Pokemon? I won't allow anyone to stop me, no matter what it does. Or what did? What does what? I don't even know. All right, bring it on, you asshole. This guy right here doesn't scare me. Okay, popping my knuckles. Here we are taking on Team Plasma Getsis, and he's gonna be coming out with a Kaparigarigasa. Don't even know how to pronounce that name, but it's still funny. All right, let's go, Reshram. Okay. So here he comes out with his Kaparigas or whatever it is. Um, you know what? Let's go into another screen right here. This is the only time I will ever do this for you know lead bad guy or something like that. So. Here we have, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Getsis, the true leader of Team Plasma. I think he is one of the, the many sages and all that stuff. I think he is a sage. I don't even know. Wait, let me let me, let me me go right here onto, uh, whatchamacallit. God dang it. All right, let me go onto the, the Bulb... God dang it, Bulbapedia. All right, right here. And somebody just texted me. And Getsis... Right there, and where are you, Gets? His okay, here we go. So, anywho, here we are in the next screen, and we are playing Pokemon Black and White. Homeboy right here is the main bad guy, Gets is the leader of uh, Team Plasma. He does have six Pokemon in total. He does come out with a level 52 Kefiragus. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name. He does have Shadow Ball, Protect, Psychic, and Toxic. Then he comes out with a Bufalant, level 52 has the reckless effect. It does have head charge, wild charge, earthquake, and poison jab. So be careful for that Pokemon. It's a pretty strong, very, very physical Pokemon. Then it does have Seismitoad at level 52. It does have Muddy Water, Rain Dance, Earthquake, and Sludge Wave. Then we're going with Bisharp, level 52. Dark and Steel type Pokemon. It has Night Slash, Stone Edge, X Scissors, and Metal Burst. And then it has Electros, the electric type Pokemon. It has Wild Charge. Flamethrower, Acrobatics, and Crunch, and then his final Pokemon, it's very, very strong Pokemon, Hydreigon, or Hydrogon, or Hydrogon, whatever you like to call it, it has the Levitate, both Dark and Dragon-type Pokemon, it is a very, very strong Dragon-type Pokemon, so just be careful for this guy, it has Dragon Pulse, Fire Blast, Surf, and Focus Blast, so yeah, this guy has a solid team, alright, bring it, let's do this. You and your god dang theme song is going down with uh, with everything you got. So I'm going to be switching up Pokemon right here. Let's go with the Pokemon it can't affect, and that is Stoutland from Scotland. That's right, Stoutland from Scotland. Alrighty, let's see. Toxic attack, of course. He's going to be, uh, he's going to try and poison me, but he won't win. Okay, so I'm very, very poisoned. Alright. Ooh, that sounds pretty bad. Kind of sounds like diarrhea and all that stuff. So here we go, crunch attack. Time to eat this crunch right here. Oh damn, hiding from its uh, crunch. And look at that, super effective. Now we turn into a mummy, I guess. Oh good, okay. And here comes a psychic attack. This guy's going pretty, uh, he's going ham on me right now. So he's like, I was expecting exactly that kind of move. You were? All right, eat this crunch again. Kept, oh crap baskets. Look at that. So he's going to be protecting himself, and every single turn, I'm losing more and more HP right here. So i got to hit him one more time in order to beat this guy. So there we go. Crunch attack. And there goes Kefiragus, or whatever you like to call him. I don't even know. Look at that. 
and Shedder grows to level 57. Reshram, of course, gains some points and losing a lot of HP right there. Holy crap. And here he comes out with a Hydra Gun. Okay, so let's go. This is the match that I've been waiting for. Let's go with Shadar because he does have a move ready for this asshole right here. All right, I'm popping my knuckles right here. All righty, Hydra Gun. All righty. You are slow, but I do have Dragon Claw right here. And you missed that. So here we go, Dragon Claw. Bam. For the win. God dang it. Not super effective. All right, let's go. Actually, it's a Flying-type Pokemon as well, so... Or no, 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 no. Actually, it's a Drug-type Pokemon. So here comes that Focus Blast. Uh, jeez. This Pokemon is a scary one right here. So here we go again with another Dragon Claw. Bam. Nearly takes him out. So let's go with a high jump kick since we do know now that it's a, you know, a dark type Pokemon. So here we go. Come on. Let's get it. High jump kick. Oh, yes. And no more Hydra Gun. Suck on that. So we took out his best Pokemon right there. Oh, yes. And he's going to be coming out with a Bufalot. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go with Shadar right here. Alrighty. Big old Tauros wannabe mother lover. Here we go. High jump kick for the win. And bam. Bufalant defeated. Fatality. Look at that. And he's going to be coming out with an Electra. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Drillmonger right here since we do have a good Pokemon now. Drillmonger. Okay. Let's go, Drillmonger. You can do this. You can do this. Alrighty, so let's go with the Rock Slide. There we go. Rock Slide. Can it do it? Oh, wow, he's doing a flamethrower right here. It's not not doing much right there. Look at that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do another Rock Slide attack right here. Hopefully to beat this guy because, yeah, he's a little strong, but... Yeah, and here comes another flamethrower. God dang it. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, okay, so there's a Pokemon that's been fainted. Ugh, okay, I can do this. Alrighty. I do have a Pokemon for this guy. Let's go, Reshiram. Okay. This Pokemon's all majestic and everything. Looks like an angel. It does. It really does look like an angel. Alright, let's use its signature move, Fusion Flare. Right here. Fusion Flare, look at that, and eat this Kamehameha or Spirit Bomb. Suck on that. Look at that. No more uh, Electros right there. And here he's coming out with a Seismitoad. We already know what that does, so let's go right ahead and uh, crap baskets. We don't have uh, yeah, we don't have a grass type move anymore, so we're gonna be going with Sigh of the Torrent right here. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it. Seismitoad, you you ain't nothing, man. You're nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So let's go with a Dragon Tail to skip him out right here. And here he comes out with an Earthquake. How are you faster than my Pokemon? Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Dragon Tail. And it, it pushes him out. And here he comes out with a Bisharp. So let's go with a Revenge. And here comes that Stone Edge. Crud. Okay, so that is a powerful move right there, but... Because of that, we got revenge. We're gonna destroy you right here. Your quadruple damage. Oh yes, look at that. No more bite sharp. Oh yeah, and look at that. Level 58 or 59. And Shadar grows to level 58, and he's learning Focus Punch. Uh, let's see what this Focus Punch does. Uh oh, yeah, but super powerful, it's just uh, you know, it loses its focus. Yeah, if it loses its focus, it's not going to work. So more than half the time, it's not going to be, like, super effective. So here he's, come to, he's coming out with his final Pokemon, Seismitoad. And we're going to be going with Reshiram right here because it's the only option for this guy right here. All right, Reshiram. Time to destroy him. I don't think that... I don't think... Uh, I don't think he's going to affect me very much with this uh, with, with what he has. So, let's go right ahead and go with a Slash Attack right here. And god dang it, this guy is uh, faster than my Pokemon. How is he faster than my Pokemon? I want to know. Probably because of the level. I don't even know. So, here we go. Slash Attack. And let's go with a Dragon Breath to make him paralyze. And 
Wow. Did not know. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Stay, stay. Oh, God. Here we go. Dragon breath. Time to paralyze him. And... Never mind. Critical hit. Suck on that, Seismitoad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've defeated Getsis. My calculations my No! I can't read the, that fast, but whatever! Okay. Look at that. How you like them apples, huh? What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I'm absolutely perfect. I am perfection. I am per I am the perfect ruler of this perfect new world. Now and do you still think Pokemon and people should be separated? He's just like quiet. <laughs> Since I couldn't become the hero and obtain the legendary Pokemon myself, I prepared someone for that purpose. N. He's nothing more than a freak without a human heart. Do you think they you think you're going to get through the war person like that? Alder or Alder, it's a waste of valuable time listening to him ramble on. He is one without a human heart. You're right, he's truly pitiful. And I'm sure you have much to think about. I know you were not pursuing ideals because of Getz's manip manipulation, but because your heart was uh, really inspired. That is why you were able to meet the legendary Pokemon. Oh, damn. But I have no right to be the hero. Is that so? What you and the legendary Pokemon are going to do from now on, that's important, wouldn't you say? Oh, wow. He's, he's nice. He's like acting like you understand. Up till now, we've been fighting each other over our beliefs. Yet, despite that, why? And... Even if we uh, don't understand each other, that's not a reason for, to reject each other. There, there are two sides, to, uh, or there are two sides to any argument. Is there one point of view that has all the answers? Give it some thought. Oh damn, they're gonna beat him up, Sharon. You think you can beat him up? Oh wow, he's he's gone. Uh, flipping you, flipping you, yeah, flipping you off, buddy. Okay, so he looks a little uh, angry with himself and all that stuff. I want to talk to you about something. Oh, damn. What's up, bud? What's up, Doc? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We're taking a long walk right here. Damn. You had a sweet-ass throne. I wonder if you had the Game of Thrones one. I don't know. It's about when I first met you in Accumula Town. I was shocked when I heard that your Pokemon was saying. I was shocked because that Pokemon said it liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. Kind of sounds like all the girls that, you know, are in Pokemon right now. But they can't have this because... Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't understand it. I couldn't believe that there were Pokemon that liked people. Because, up until the, that moment, I'd never known people like that. Or Pokemon like that. The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people who communicated with one another and helped one another. That was why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling with you. I wanted to confront you hero to hero. I needed to, that more than anything. Oh damn. Oh crap, his throne is gone. Man, come on. There's no way a person like me, someone who understands only Pokemon. No, actually, I didn't understand him either. No way could I measure up to you when you had met so many Pokemon and were surrounded by friends. You know, Charon's not really my friend, right? He really isn't. The champion has forgiven me, and what I what I should do now is something I'll have to decide for myself. Oh damn. Oh damn, look at that, look at that. Draven! Oh damn! You said you have a dream? That dream, make it true. Or make it come true. I have a dream. Make your wonderful dream a reality and it will become your truth. Draven. If anyone can, it's you. Well then. Farewell. Bam! Look at that, guys! Sounds a little fast right there. Hold on. There we go. One more level down. Okay, so... Uh, technically, guys, this... Like, this is how I would end the Pokemon game and all that stuff. Uh, this is how I ended 
the last two black walkthroughs that I had back when I was driving XC711. And I just want to say this right now, and I'm like, I'm, it's it's going to be true. I will be continuing my adventure right here in Pokemon Black. We will be finishing everything that it has to offer. Uh, any event Pokemon that may come will be done in a separate series right here. But, you know, we're going to be doing the after game. We're not going to keep this all, you know, whatever and whatnot and all that stuff. Now, something that I'm very, very proud of about this game is the, the quality that I made it. A lot of you guys lo loved it. And the, the way I went about it, too, I caught the legendary Pokemon before the after game and all that stuff. And I kind of I kind of have more of an idea of how I'm going to be finishing this whole game up right here, too. And if you guys are wondering, will I be coming out with any Pokemon Black and White 2 walkthrough? Yes, I will. It's going to be Pokemon White, since I'm already doing Black uh, right here. It's going to be coming out. And uh, that game will be kind of like, it will be treated just like Liquid Crystal or Omega Ruby. And, you know, I got a special, special team for that one right there. That one right there is a team that, you know, I kind of picked, uh, handpicked and all that stuff. And look at that. It's, uh, it's Rush or Zekrom. Holy crap. So, yeah. Uh, again, guys, I'm very proud, very happy, and hopefully this comes out at the day, or hopefully by the time we hit 7,000 subscribers. Uh, if not, then, you know, let's get to 7,000 subscribers and all that crap, too. Uh, one thing, too, guys. Uh, I am hoping, too, by the end of this whole game, or this whole series, and the end of this year, that we reach 10,000 subscribers. So, you guys want to help me out with that just make sure to share this video share my channel and all that stuff and hopefully we hit 10,000 subscri subscri subscribers before we hit the 20 uh, 2021 and all that crud um, we are still in this pandemic we will be laughing about this once it's over so for those who are watching this game uh, or this walkthrough right after this whole pandemic is done we're laughing about it right now we really are so hope you guys stay safe stay happy Stay tuned. More Pokemon Black is on the way. See you guys.